the pandemic, COVID-19, coronavirus. Hope y'all like, subscribe to our channel, hit the like, all that, check it out. You go back and see everything that's going on, man. It's crazy. As soon as they blow the whistle on this, the guy that had the virus, they knocked him off to keep him quiet about this situation. This shit's been going on since last year. That's the whole point. Yeah. And they've been playing cat and mouse game. That's nothing new. They done did this with the West Nine virus, from everything from Ebola. Come on, man. They can have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. Not only the vaccines, but the therapies. Therapies is sort of another word for cure. We're talking about very small numbers in the United States. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. It's really working out, and a lot of good things are going to happen. And we are responding with great speed and professionalism. It's going to go away. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all. It's going to all be great. We're going to be so good. This came up, but it, it came up so suddenly. This is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. All you had to do is look at other countries. Where your mask at? Coronavirus has been around for hundreds of years. The coronavirus is a mixture of different viruses. It's about 10 of them. And you know who carried the most thankful carrier of the coronavirus is the bat, because he's a carnivore. The thing is, you have people in other countries that eat things that are exotic. They eat bats. This disease didn't start from the bat. It started from the pankin. It's like an armadillo, but a pink one that comes from China. The animal, that, it looks like an armadillo, but it has like a little hard shells around it real ugly and they're real rare and they think that animal has the probabilities for healing for them just like the rhinoceros horn a lot of chinese people eat the rhinoceros horn too they eat animals that shouldn't be eaten it's certain animals that we don't eat because there's too many things that they eat that will kill you that's like you eating a hyena who eats hyena but what do bats eat mice bugs it eats all the things that are carnivores that eat off of other things that are already dead that's like eating roaches. There are people that eat roaches, but they're the, they eat the roaches that are made. You know, they're not eating the roaches that are in your wall. You know what I mean? How many people eat ants? There's certain things that carry diseases you should not eat. That's like eating maggots. Who eats maggots? Certain animals were not meant to eat. Bats were one of them because they are here to cleanse the earth of what? Carcasses. They eat the leftovers from bananas and fruits, but they also eat dead animals. We eat dead animals, but we cook them. They eat roadkill, possums. Who eats possum? Nobody. Certain things are not in our food group because they will kill you. It's even in the Bible. And the only reason we eat ham now is because we grow our own pigs. We yeah. ain't eat out there eating wild boar. How many people eating wild boar? That's what I'm saying. Certain things people still do, but we have different means of cooking it and eating it. It's not the same. When you have certain things that are nowhere you're supposed to be on the food table and you have people that's bringing those things into there, that's when you get these diseases. Because this disease is not a man-made disease. It's no way man-made. It's transferred from animal to man, meaning man ate it and it was in this blood. It was not cooked properly and that's how it was transferred. Or there's two probabilities of how it could be contracted. He can have a cut on his hand if you have an open wound and say you're cleaning it or anything like that and that animal has diseases. Same way rabies. Yeah. How many people catch rabies now? We don't eat dogs. Why yeah. we don't eat dogs? Because they have rabies. Who still eats dogs though? That's why they have all these viruses come from over there because they eat animals that shouldn't be eaten because they don't have the ability to get animals that we eat. 
They don't get pigs. Pigs were brought over to the 1700s, over to the British, and then the British brought the pigs over to them. It's animals. That's why a pig over there in China is a high quality. You know the reason they love Spam? It's something that they consider a delicacy because they don't have pigs around that part of the world. That's why it's a delicacy. When you go anywhere near the China, where, where Philippines, all those people love Spam. Why? Because it's something special. It's something they ain't gonna get every day. They get fish and all that stuff. They eat that all day, every day. It's like steak to them and shit. Like how we like exact, steak. Exactly. Exactly. You're hitting nail. You, if you got something that is very rare for you to eat, they're so inquisitive. They eat that stuff. They eat the things that are not supposed to be eaten. They're the ones that eat blowfish. Okay. It's only <laughs> one piece on a blowfish you can eat without killing yourself. Any other part of it has poison in it. Why do they eat stuff like that? The only thing that Americans eat that shouldn't be eaten is shrimp because they're bottom feeders. We're not supposed to eat a lot of shrimp because it has mercury in it. When you see people at Disneyland, how many Asian people were wearing masks a long time ago? This disease already had been in their region already. When we're talking about them recovering right now, they're recovering because this was like last year for them. They are going by any means possible. They're yanking people out of their house. They're going house by house, checking for people that have the coronavirus. <laughs> And they're either sealing them in the house. If everybody in the house has the coronavirus, they seal the door and they leave them in there. They're killing people, and that's how the numbers are going down. If you don't have the disease, if one person in your house only has it, they take that person out and they take them to a separate place, and they are housed separately from everybody else. Wednesday, when a cascade of restrictions, cancellations, and revelations work to further upend everyday life with more economic ramifications expected today, the LA Times reports the NBA said Wednesday it's suspending its entire season until further notice after a player tested positive for the novel coronavirus. The announcement came less than an hour after President Trump imposed stringent new travel restrictions, barring most travelers from Europe from entering the country for a 30-day period starting Friday. That was followed by Governor Gavin Newsom's directive that large gatherings should be canceled across California because of the risk of spreading infection. Similar orders have come from governors in Washington State and New York. States hit hard by relatively large numbers of COVID-19 cases. Trump's new travel restrictions exclude the United Kingdom and a few other European nations and make other exceptions for healthy Americans. COVID-19, this hits home for real because it's like now this is a new distraction. Basically, they're saying that everybody need to stay in their homes. Nobody don't need to go anywhere. It's all a new beginning. And they're saying that, well, we'll never run out of food. They said, oh, well, this won't happen, that won't happen, but what if? So, you know, that's why I was telling people they need to prepare.
everything that we touch, we feel, we see is contaminated without us knowing, without our well-being. More numbers are accumulating as we speak right now, everywhere, from city to city. So it's like, we really got to be careful. It comes to a point now, I have to sit down and write a daily journal every day, once a day, during these coronavirus crisis. There's a lot of tips out there, every day the news is on. That's why I'm glad I don't even watch TV. Hmm. So I'm just writing. Basically, it's been a few days being off work, and I'm kind of happy about that. Don't have to deal with drama and don't have to deal with negativity. All I can do is restore my thoughts into positive thoughts. During this coronavirus, it's crazy. Some people don't get it. Some people still sitting outside like whatever. Most of them say, hey, we gonna die anyway. So what the hell? But I feel that the media is taking it to a whole nother level. For any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake, we must test for the virus in order to stop the spread of it. What could be a very great recession, some predicting even a depression. At worst, worst case scenario could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. We don't have immunity to this virus. It's a new virus. It's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hotspot to another. They're saying census would give people about a thousand to two thousand dollars or maybe three thousand dollars per household. Who knows what's gonna happen? We don't know. Only time would tell. But all we can do is just ride this out. Like the video, comment. The more likes, the better. Bring awareness to this video. Hope you guys like it. I'm about to take my ass back in the house and continue quarantine. And wear y'all damn masks, man. Wear your gloves. Wash your hands consistently.